And the game one is now on lock. Master Mario versus Vladin. We're in loser semis, people. Game one. Uh, Master Mario getting um, just charging flood, and now uh, both players are kind of waiting each other out. And Charlie and um, Master Mario kind of all over Vlad, and Vlad trying to find out his spacing, trying to feel Master Mario out, and hitting him with the fair. <laughs> all good. <laughs> and I'm gonna be joined by Larry. Yo, what's up, everyone? <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, go ahead. yeah, game one still happening. It looks like uh, Master Mario was having quite a was kind of pressuring uh, Vladin quite a bit, but now Vladin found his footing, and now uh, Master Mario is in a really bad spot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this matchup is really difficult for Mario because it seems like he does really well when he gets in, but then everything else is just a huge problem. Like playing neutral is hard, being off stage, <laughs> being being yeah. being like above. Lucian yeah. is hard. Yeah, like, y you have to deal with the sword. And Mario's got, he's got that back air, and it's really strong, but I, it's not as long as Lucina's back air. Exactly. Like, he just, he just doesn't have the range to, like, consistently combat, like, some of the scenarios he's in. Yeah. Up throw, that, okay, that did not kill. Yeah, I, it looked like it was. <laughs> it was really close to it. And um, Master Mario's trying to find his way in. He's, look, he's throwing out those fireballs, trying to, like, inch his way in, trying to get a confirm out of it. Yeah. But uh, Vladin's doing a really good job on, like, just reacting to it, and he just ran up and grabbed him. Yeah, and that's the up throw kill. Um, see, the problem with fireballs, in my opinion, is that it's good uh, at, a, at a certain distance, but then after that, it's really, really unsafe. Mm -hmm. So, like, from very far distances, it's, it's, like, a good way to approach. Oh, definitely shouldn't. That shouldn't have worked. <laughs> Hey, sometimes like the the you you have to expect the unexpected. Like, I don't even think he realized that was gonna work for him. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, but now, Lucina getting uh, spacing him out yet again with the fair, and it, I'm I'm gonna say I don't know how Master Mario is gonna close out the stock. Yeah, no, it's hard. Like uh, Lucina kind of has similar issues where like she's very simple, so a lot of her setups are very basic, but she still has. Pretty good kill setups, and again, she, in my opinion, just outclasses Mario in a lot of situations in this matchup. Oh, that back throw not gonna kill just yet, and I feel like Vladin's gonna try to like, kind of like nickel and dime his way through. You know, oh, and that up tilt um, traded with Mario's up there, and yet again, Master Mario still struggling to get this kill. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, in my opinion, is like the struggle of the matchup. It's like you either kill. We've seen it really early with the combo, or you just have really, tr you just have a difficult t time killing because a lot of them, a lot of in a lot of situations in neutral, mm -hmm. you get a hit, but it's not really a hit that you can convert off of to get a kill. Oh, that was kind of sick. That was beautiful, actually. Yeah. The na the first hit of Nair two up smash. You could have probably air dodged, but you don't really expect that. Yeah, I mean to be fair, that has a lot of that has like a lot of hit stun, so mm -hmm. it's very possible that Vladin could have. Uh, reacted to a, to a situation and punished accordingly. Mm -hmm. Got a kill anyways. Oh, and uh, Master Mario finally got him with the back air. But I feel like this is kind of where Master Mario is like a little bit better. I feel like these earlier percentages, he's able to get, a, he's able to rack up a lot of damage, kind of like pressure you, trying to frustrate you, and then he gets the grab or he gets you with the up air, and then you just keep hitting. He keeps hitting you. Yeah. He basically what he has to do is he has to combo Vlad into death at like a really I would say like a sweet spot percent. So like that percent, I would say is like around 100. If he can get like a solid hit at that percent and get a kill confirmed from it, then he'll 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 kill it on easy. Oh no! Oh no! Is this the reset? No, he's fine. Oh, he he wanted it so bad. Yeah. No, the way the way that Blind died, I knew it wasn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. Down throw. He could kill him here. Oh. oh almost. Yeah, a little late. Mm -hmm. I felt like he might have hesitated just a tad. No, that, that actually shouldn't have killed there. Uh, uh, I think what he should have gone for instead was dare, because mm -hmm. he can cross up the eye and get a kill from that. That's true, that's true. Well, right now, still working out for Vladin. That flood pushing him out just ever so slightly. And there's the backer, but it's not going to kill just right, yet. He should go for like an edge guard. Oh, that was kind of it. Yeah. As soon as he got the fireball, he should have drifted close and then seen what happened. Yeah, maybe uh, that could have been like a cape situation, could have been a fair, could have been something. Yeah. But now he's got stage advantage yet again. 
Oh, oh that's it, that's it. Yeah, uh, recovering high and Master Mario capitalizing on it with Flood. All right, so he didn't really get the sweet spots percent, but what he did, what, what did happen is Aladdin made a huge mistake and he capitalized off of it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully something like that happens again because, ooh, okay. Oh, there's the fireball confirmed. And Vladin spot dodging the grab and getting him with enough to... And this is, I feel like Vladin's now in that spot where he could kind of kill him with nearly anything. Um, up throw, this is nearly up throw percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure anything will kill at this point. That's oh, it. Oh, and yeah. there was nowhere Master Mario could have really gone. Yeah, it was like it, it was on it was on Vladin to react uh, poorly at that point. Mm -hmm. Yep. And now game one going to Vladin, and Master Mario opting to go back to PS2. I I feel like this is kind of like Mario stage now. Like, kind of. Personally, I I disagree. I feel like a lot of the combos that people are getting hit by, you could just DI it. Like toward the center of the stage, or toward that outside of it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just DI, DI it outside of the platform. Like there's certain situations where you're dead for sure, but a lot of the time, I just think people just don't know how to DI certain setups, so they get they get killed by it. Mm -hmm. But now, that was. That's game one, and now game two. Um, we're back on an even footing. And yeah. oh, here. Uh, so he shouldn't have double jumped there. He shouldn't mm -hmm. have double jumped there. He should have done landing, uh, a landing fair or like a bear, because and then he could have like continued the string instead of going for double jump. Yeah. I oh, think he just wasn't terrible. confident that he could have gotten the hit. Yeah, and that that up air looked like it was a little too high to confirm that into an uppy. Yeah. And, but now he's got so much percent. But it's gonna be hard because now he's in that he's in that position yet again where he needs to take out the stock. I think he's in the five percent though. Like he uh, he definitely has the he he's definitely in, at a percent where he gets up and kills like kind of oh oh goodness. god him with that two frame with the forward smash that was yeah, nice that was really good. But yeah, uh, Master Mario's in the percent where he gets up for kills like still. Maybe not anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. Like, this is the this is kind of the weird point where Master Mario needs to get a read. Mm -hmm. He needs to either catch you like with the short hop and get you with the up smash, or he needs to get you with the grab on the ledge. Yeah. And Vladin's not really giving it to him because Vladin has a sword and he can space out. He's kind of moving back and he's trying to. Oh, oh but that one. Smash? Yeah, that one was a bit ambitious. <laughs> yeah, I think the way. He fared like in anticipation of like Master Mario drifting away or maybe jumping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, like I, he was probably get, trying to go for like a that that whole uh, 3D chest. Like maybe like he, I've been retreating all this time. I'm gonna go forward this time. Mm -hmm. And now like all these nares getting Master Mario off stage. He, he's lost a second jump, but he's good. Yeah. yeah, he's fine. Mario's aerial drift is so strong in this game. It's really good. I mean, it was good in four as well. Mm -hmm. And now we're in a ledge situation. Oh, and falling out of Dancing Blade. Oh, beefy up, beat. Oh. I think if Master Mario uh, landed on the platform or just anticipated what was going to happen, he could have gotten a bigger punish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. You can't get the grab there. Yeah, uh, he was a little too high. Maybe if he went for another up there. Exactly, yeah. It actually would have been better. Mm -hmm. Oh, these landing up airs coming from Master Mario are so clean, but they're not enough. Yeah. Lucina's sword is so strong. Mm -hmm. The problem I see Master Mario having now, honestly, is like some of his conversions. Okay, as I say oh, that. No. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, some of his conversions, he's just not. Um, like, he, he's jumping prematurely. Like, right there, I think he jumped a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. And there's the up air to dare, but that's not going to kill just yet. He's uh, um, Vladin's still a bit low. Vladin parrying the fireball. Kind of as a statement. <laughs> and now back in the legend situation. Master Mario trying to get out, like trying to throw out these fireballs, trying to find some way to That's open it. a Vladin, but there's the up throw coming in from Vladin. Ooh, Master Mario hitting him with the back air and the flood, but Vladin not really has, uh, not really uh, doing an off court option, just going back to ledge very cleanly. So, uh, Larry, in your opinion, like what can Master Mario do to like close out these stocks? Well, that backer was a good a good answer, but <laughs> yeah, I, in my opinion, he's just kind of flubbing a little bit conversion wise. Like, there's a lot of times, like I said, mm -hmm. he's jumping a bit too early on some of his combos, so he's not taking them as far as he could initially. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I think he just needs to look for kills more, like not necessarily fish, but keep keep in mind like. He, 
uh, his opponent's at kill percent, then mm -hmm. see he can like punish it with the kill move. Yeah. Because there's some moments where I feel like he could do running up smash to punish with lands whipping, but he's not going for it. That might be it. Yeah, oh, that's it. Oh, wow. Yeah, caught him. Caught him slipping, got him with the last hit of the Dancing Blade. And that was good on Vladin to like just commit to it, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, he just threw out the last hit. Like, even though the first three, he's like, like eh, maybe this one. <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, yeah. He's like, whatever. I, th I think at that point, honestly, what it was is if I miss, it doesn't matter. If I hit him, then he's dead. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, and Master Mario running it right back. Going immediately back to uh, Mario. Pokemon Stadium, yeah. too. And staying yeah. Mario, I I don't think he uh, he has Sonic, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. like, I think that's really it. Like, he just needs to convert a little bit better. It's not even that much more. He just needs to maybe wait a bit before he jumps on his follow-ups because he's just doing it a bit too early, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. And like, that's kind of like what I would say uh, decides a bad matchup is like how like if I want to win. How perfect do I have to be, you know? Kind of. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, it's how perfect do I have to be on top of can I realistically do something in X situation. Mm -hmm. I think I think the, the the latter is more so important than the former. Yeah. Because oh, nice oh, that was really good. Because in my opinion, like at a top level, I think at a top level matchups matchups are different. So like X matchup could be work, could be horrible at a low level, but at a top level because you're more precise and things like that. The matchup is more even mm -hmm. overall. If that makes sense, or yeah. like even harder sometimes. Yeah, I got you. Like, like sometimes your character, like you need to find what kind of limits you and what doesn't limit you. I, like your limiting factors aren't as defined in a top level play because you do have like your characters and your fundamentals kind of to a T. Yeah. If I'm correct. Yeah. Oh, and that dash attack. And oh, actually, that, Master that, Mario... That should be it. That should be it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <Just> keep going. <laughs> and then with the Hydrant. Oh, oh no! Wow. Dude, Lucina's Drift's too good. I, I felt like if Master Mario uh, maybe jumped out... Kill. No, yeah, that's not going to kill. That That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, in most situations, that doesn't kill unless you DI it poorly. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the back area oh, retaliation good. coming in from Vladin. Yeah, because really quickly, I could ex I could explain why they didn't kill. Mm -hmm. uh, Latin wasn't high enough in the air for it to actually kill, with, mm -hmm. with, like, if you got it properly. So in a lot of situations where you're fighting Mario and it does kill, it's because you're DIing his string, like, poorly, and he just puts you up higher than normal. Yeah, and uh, good stuff on Master Mario for reacting to that Dancing Blade with the up smash as fast as possible. And Master Mario getting his bread and butter confirmed with the up throw to dare. Yeah, that yeah, was good. He also got uppers off that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, that's that's um kind of on like the uh, the player, you know, like finding out what's my chase option. Like, can I? How how much can I capitalize on it? Yeah. yeah but now, Vladin, like this is kind of like where uh, Vladin isn't as comfortable. You know, he doesn't have that that percent or that stock lead. So now he has to work a little harder for um, these kills. And you can't really rely on Master Mario going in. Because yeah. Master Mario's not really as desperate, you know? He's not, yeah. He has the lead. Honestly, I, 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 I feel like uh, this is this is Master Mario's game. I don't really think Valadin will come back and win this. Mainly because in a lot of situations, I felt like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there there's Upstash. In a lot of situations, I feel like Master Mario ha felt a need that he had to like get, go for a kill. Mm -hmm. So he would he would force like neutral more so than he had to, but because he could wait, it was slightly more easier because Vladin was approaching more as well. Mm -hmm. And like that's kind of, I feel like that's kind of like the name of this game, right? Like if you if you're in the stock lead, right? It's uh, you don't really have those grab confirms like we used to have, or like just confirms in general. Like you need a, you kind of need to just find an opening, kind of find a read in order to take up stock, unless you have something else. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Like, like the comeback factor isn't as huge as it was in Smash Four because Rage has been toned down. Mm -hmm. And you know, I personally think that's a good that's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Like, there's some people or some characters that benefited heavily from Rage, and some people would say, you know, it was a bit unfair, but 
Yeah, Rage yeah. has been toned down quite a bit, but like this new Rage mechanic, I, how do you feel about it? It's fine. I don't think it's anything super crazy. Like, yes, you can come back a bit easier, but it's not as dominant as Smash 4, especially considering that you also have um, three stocks compared to the Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, nice parry, but that's another that's another issue I've been having, right? Like I've been seeing a lot of players get like these parries, but they haven't been really able to like punish accordingly. Well, okay, there's two things. Some moves you parry you can't punish and they just parried anyways because I don't know. They you know they're, they're flexing or they don't know that you can't punish it. And then there's the other situation where they could punish it, but they just didn't expect to get a parry, so yeah. Mm -hmm. like, um, or like they sometimes you just don't have the correct move to punish with. That too. That that, that is very fair. And also that was a good up smash punish. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's actually how you take out the last game. You like ledge jump, line it on, blind for the punch, and you just up smash. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's kind of Master Mario's best tool in this situation, in this matchup, right? Um, he's, he has to catch Vladin on the short hop, and then he catches them with the up smash. Yeah, basically, like it's just it's just catching Vladin, overextending a bit more than he should as Lucina because. Yeah, and now. Can, oh, he can't really overextend, but. You could be a bit confident in like a lead you have and you drift a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. And now, Vladin in that awkward situation yet again where he needs to find out the way to close out the stock now that he's in, now that he's behind. And Master Mario looking really clean for a, a set I mean a reverse 3-0. Yeah, no, he's really he's, I feel like he's really adjusted. Also Vladin, it feels like he has kind of a set style to how he plays, like he'll run in He'll like he'll, he'll he'll run in and then he'll pick an option then try to retreat the neutral if it doesn't work. He won't try to pressure anything or he won't try to see what else happens. Oh, oh that's it. Yeah, actually, that up smash not as safe as one would think. Oh, and, is Mario absolutely not? Yeah, yeah. And that up tilt was it has so much reach in this game. It does. Yeah, honestly, it, I feel like that's that's one of the biggest. Oh, that's, that's caught him it. again with the with yeah. that short hop. Yeah, it ca caught him just. Extending a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. um, but what I was going to say is, I feel like that's kind of a. Like, up tilt on top of like other things that Lucina has, she just has a lot of kill power. More so than other characters because she has like consistent, that consistent hitbox on the sword. So, situations where other characters couldn't kill our, our edge guard, Lucina can because of her range on top of her, her knockback. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that jab one, like trying to get him into um, like a chase situation. But Master Mario, just I feel like he's just now throwing out the up I mean the up air, up air, up beat as much as possible, just to rack up as much damage, you know? Yeah. Like he doesn't really need to like fish for anything. He, he doesn't need to try to go for the the cheesy kill on the platform. He just wants to like he wants to damage him and he wants to like. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's going for safe damage. He's okay. going for like a combo finisher. Yeah. I personally wouldn't do that. I go for the combo. I do the up air string, and then I wait and see how Vladin reacts to it, and then try to punish with a kill. But mm -hmm. you know, oh, and there's oh, that jump it. hop, and that, that short hop yet again. Hey, yeah. every stock. Every stock, up actually. Smash. Yeah, like every extension. Yeah. yeah, every stock. Every stack. Every stock. <laughs> every, yeah. stack. every stack. Every stack. <laughs> <laughs> every stack. Every stack. You ever extended? Yeah. I've smashed. Nah, you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. You get hit with the. Get hit with the. Get hit with the. I've smashed. No, but if you've been noticing, like I've been seeing uh, Master Mario kind of like put Valadin into the corner, like kind of inch him slowly toward the corner, and then. Valana's like, oop, I can't be here. I need to jump out. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, as soon as he lets go of the shield, up smash every time. And But that time, it was center stage. You just kind of, it that was just a harder read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that situations like that, um, Valadin just, Valadin's just really confident he'll get a hit, or he kind of panics because there's situations where I'm sure he feels like he, he messed up in neutral in some way, so... He'll try to make up for it in, in like getting a hit more like in, in, in a situation where something's passed already. Mm -hmm. Like the like the ledge jump is a perfect ex example. Like he knows Master Mario ledge jumps, so he'll try to punish him for ledge jumping, but he's too late. Mm -hmm. So then he overextended and got hit with up smash. Like uh, last lock of, of the fourth game, 
No, last stock of the third game and then first stock of the fourth game. But now it looks like Valanid found his groove because now he's got a massive lead on Master Mario. Yeah, that's true. But he's got to close out. Having... Nah, it's not going to kill. No, almost though. That air dodge back in... Um, actually, it, it makes his momentum ridiculous with that. Oh, yeah. I mean... Oh, on it. oh that was yeah, that was really scary. <laughs> yeah, but oh, he oh, went for that it. That was greedy. Yeah, he might die for this. He should die for this. Uh, he's off stage, and how's Blanton can capitalize on it? Ooh, no, he missed out on it, and now, and now Master Mario kind of got the reset, but now he's off stage yet again. And yeah, like uh, that that fair was kind of an all or nothing, you know? Okay, I feel like Blanton's gonna come out up there. Yeah. Oh. Nah, it's not gonna kill. Okay, up there or fair. One of those two things. Oh, you want to be up there? Yeah, he, he that 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 looked like it should have got him right. Yeah. <laughs> he had the right. He, as you said before, he had the correct read, but he was just a little late on the trigger. Ooh, oh, that's that was it. nice. That was like a frame trap. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of screwed at that point. Mm -hmm. All right, I think Glenn's still gonna go off the go through. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that was it. Yeah, he he had it. He had it. And then, all right, I'm gonna whisper it. So he's in the air. Are not going for it? All right. I'll be on the shield. He he did that once. He did that once, and I haven't seen him do it anymore. I like, just spamming that. If I were, if I were Lucy, <laughs> like, don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you you touch my shield? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man, and now it's it's happening over and over again. These back airs, and uh, actually it's a like a completely even game. And I love how Master Mario is now trying to uh, put uh, Vladin in these tech situations. You're right? Because he could either go for the jab lock or he could just confirm and just hit him with the, this whatever situation he rolls to. Yep. Yeah. And now we're back to neutral and right. Master Mario is approaching. This is scary for both of them, honestly, because Vladin could get like a... That was actually a force smash. It might have killed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, force smash could kill... Uh, oh, there's, Ooh. Oh, there's the forward smash I talked about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was really nice from Valadin. He only got the first two, and then he's like, he's going to follow this. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's just go for the forward. Let, let's see what he's going to do now. Oh, forward smash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was one of those situations <laughs> where um, you stop because you know you're you're overextending. You know you can't get any more, and then you're like, okay, I'll just wait until the opponent does, and the opponent panics. Mm -hmm. And then you just, you just cash out on, on their panicking. Ooh, and now he caught him on his double jump with the fair, but not really going to be able to capitalize on it. But there's the dancing blade, and this is off stage situation. What is Vla and what is Mesmari going to do? Jumps out, uh, jumps back from ledge. Vlad and uh, resetting him back to neutral. Oh, and now he caught his. Oh, he didn't catch his jump. My bad. But now he's waiting. He's just holding shield for too long. Gets him a forward throw, and Master Mario is still stuck in his advantage. Ooh. Dancing blade, not going to kill. Dude, honestly, the, like, that second sock meant so much. Yeah, that, that that like was all the momentum. Yeah, that shifted the tides heavily in Vladin's favor. Oh no, and now Master Mario, he's, he's, he's fishing. He wants that up smash now. He, he wants that short hop and he wants to he wants to close the stock out now. And it with good reason too. There's the back throw, but he's not right, gonna kill him. That's not gonna kill, yeah. Alright, edge guard? No. no. Alright, oh. No, oh, I think he's gonna go for another grab. Yeah. Oh, Vladin waiting. He, he, he's, oh, there's it. back air. That's it, that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Vladin takes it 3 2 over Master Mario. All right. Stuff by him. Well, got to play. I'm going to um, go P first, so be right back. All right, all good. Have fun, Larry. <laughs> good luck. <laughs>